There are six AI-generated 3D models in this scene. What are they? So let's just have a quick look at the 3D printer. So this 3D printer is AI-generated like far out. Um, and the whole texture set is all baked. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it using AI. So, so I'm gonna be using Rodan to generate our 3D models. So from here, I'm just gonna start off with the first one. Let's do a text input. So let's do a desktop 3D printer. And then pressing the plus sign, it'll kind of generate an image to see if we like it. Kind of want it bigger. I'm just gonna refresh. There we go. I like that one. Tick, generate, give it a moment which was about five seconds, and we can kind of rotate and see what the pre-model is. I'm happy with that. Let's confirm that puppy. Um, actually, no, no, let's uh, come back, come back, back. So up here, we've got a whole bunch of options that we can do. Do we want to make it symmetrical? What kind of edges do we want? Do we want complex, game ready, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to select that one. I don't. Is the generate opposite symmetrical? No, it's not. Because obviously the cable's at the top. Not that they're, they're just probably off to the side. And we can have a look what the object is looking like. That's not too bad. If we click on this and we go into geometry. Oh, let's go into wireframe, sorry. And we can see what the wireframe of the model looks like. This is AI generated. Just gonna go back into ge um, I'm happy with what the materials look like. So I'm just gonna click generate just to generate the materials. And that's a 3D printer. Fire out. Uh, we'll confirm that material. Now let's download it. And then if we actually have a look at the textures of the object, we can see that we've got our diffuse, metallic, normals, PBR texture, which is kind of combined specularity, roughness in the other one. And then we've got a roughness texture. So I've got to rename this one manually. And also I did select just the 2K texture. Now into Blender, let's go file, import um, the OBJ. 3D printer, let's open up that base lovely gonna create a material for that straight away uh, with node wrangler enabled control shift 2 select all that principal texture gonna drop down the normals to about 0.1 and then if we go into rendered mode pff, that's disgusting let me just slot that into a better position so this is gonna live under the cnc Perfect. Let's do an F12 and we'll just see what it looks like. <laughs> now I just kind of wanted to show off before we leave. This is one of the objects um, that I tried to do earlier and it turned out not too bad. If we go into wireframe, we can see it's good topology. So we are Doing well. Wheel's a little bit wonky. Wonky. Winky wonky. Book is that? Wonky donkey. But it is not too bad. Um, actually, let's open up in Blender. And this is what it looks like in Blender. Like, oh, actually, bring down the normals. 0. 0.5. It's not, it's not bad. And I bet you want to know what are the items that are 3D generated? This microscope, the two chairs, the CNC printer, 3D printer, and the server cabinet. Oh, AI generated.